Yo, what's going on, everybody? It should be a while between the game sports. Back again, giving you another great video. But y'all know the drill, man. Please hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and then hit that bell button for notification. But that's not what you're here for. You're here to, to hear about the three SWAT schools that's getting major love and latest polls. You know, starting off with Jackson State. <laughs> they're getting loved and they're doing big things. And then you have FAMU, the Rattlers, they're getting some love. And then they're followed by the Prairie View and the Panthers. But they're not the only schools that got love, but those are the three schools we're going to highlight in this article by HBCU Game Day. They recently stated that, you know, Jackson State has made the jump 25 to 20 you know, after beating Alabama State. That's huge. And then you got Florida A&M who had a great comeback win. They received 15 votes in the polls. They beat Florida A&M last weekend. And so, and then you got Prairie View A&M followed up with that after they beat Bethune Cookman. So all three of these schools are getting some love with Jackson State leading the way with the most votes. So it's going down in the swag, man. And for Florida A&M, their only hiccup in conference was their loss against Jackson State. First game of the season, they seven to six. They could have easily won that game, but they're playing well. They won three straight. And then you have Prairie View and them. They are just kicking butt on all ends. Uh, they beat HBU, which is a big win in the program. They're playing well. They're undefeated in, in conference play. And for Prairie View and them, they're in first. Follow right behind Alcorn State. Now, these two teams are on a collision course so who can win win that side of the SWAC, the SWAC West. And so it's going to be interesting to see. I would go with Prairie View. I'm going with Prairie View. And then you have Jackson State who has won three straight. They could easily be 5-0 and or 6-0, and whatever it may be. The only hiccup is against uh, ULM where they couldn't get a, a touchdown, only allowed four field goals. So they're playing well. They just seem to get it done they're playing well on all three phases of the game and all jackson state has to do is run the table <laughs> that's it man they don't have to beat themselves they're up two games in florida a and m they can only hope jackson state not only hiccups once but also has another loss and then you know let the rest play out so it's going to be interesting to see what's going down but i just wanted to show some love for these three schools between Jackson State, FAMU, and Prairie View a and And from the looks of it, if things play out the way it's supposed to, the way I think it's going to be, it's going to be Jackson State <laughs> and Prairie View a and in the SWAC championship. And then that's just going to be epic. It's going to go. I just wanted to show love to these three schools, man. If they continue to trend upward, continue to see all three of these schools, um, get votes and, and and have rankings in the FCS polls. So this is huge for the SWAC, huge for HBCUs. But to get ready to get out of here, man, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Am I right? What are your thoughts? What do you think these three schools are going to finish? Can Jackson State get into the top 10 if they run the table? Can they get into the top 10 of the FCS polls? So let me know what you think, man. But as always, as I get out of here, man, on your best day, be better. Think about it between the game sports. I'm out. Peace.